Mommy Daughter Science Time. And today we're discussing about a very big topic that started in one little market in China called Wuhan Market with one little virus. That's, that became a worldwide pandemic. It's in every country now. And we're gonna help you stay safe from that virus that's called coronavirus. So the topic we're discussing is coronavirus. It's the, it became a worldwide pandemic. A pandemic means that it's in every country worldwide, all over the world. Can you believe one little virus from one little person became a worldwide pandemic? That is so crazy, right? It started in one little country called China and it spread all over the world. Italy, Europe, Japan. Now it's in every single country. And we're going to help you stay safe so you can avoid coronavirus. Stay safe and sane from coronavirus. Let's start. So now I'm going to tell you how the virus replicates itself. So here is my version of coronavirus. So what the virus does is it replicates, it finds a cell in your body. This is my version of your cell in your body. So after it finds a cell, when your cell replicates, it has to replicate its DNA and its RNA, right? So the virus attaches its own RNA to your cell's RNA. So what that does is when the cell replicates, let's see these RNAs right here, and then the virus and then it replicates the other replicant cell. The virus RNA is in that cell's RNA. So when this cell replicates again, the RNA from the virus replicates with its own RNA. And then when all the cells with the RNA of the virus get overblown with the virus replicas, let's see this virus inside it, the cell wall, this part is a cell wall, this outer part, a cell can, as you see, a cell cannot live with a, without a cell wall. So if a cell wall breaks, it cannot live. So the, what the virus does is it breaks the cell wall all, and all the viruses escape. Cell wall is broken and the cell is dead. So these are all the viruses escaping. And then they attach onto new cells in your body. And that makes the cycle repeat all over again. So that is how a virus replicates its, D, its RNA, because a virus does not have DNA. It has RNA instead. That's weird, right? coronavirus from reaching your cells and multiplying and duplicating until your system is overtaken by coronavirus. Number one, drink plenty of warm water. As you see, if you drink cold water, your, your system has like a lot of hard things with the cold water. But when you drink warm water, it eases the system. And it makes it easier. Because cold water can actually do bad things in your system. So, always drink enough and plenty of warm water. Number two. 
The next one is do not touch your face. Because if you touch your if the virus is on your hands and you touch your face, the virus could crawl, crawl into the openings in your face like your eyes or your nose or your mouth. So don't touch your face unless you're eating. Next is always cough or sneeze in your elbow while looking down like this. <coughs> achoo, achoo. So that way, because if you cough in your hands, achoo, the, vi the virus gets on your hands. And then you touch everything and the virus goes everywhere. Like imagine, my hands are completely clean and then I sneeze or cough in my hands. Achoo. <coughs> and then the virus is all over my hands. So when I touch this poster, the virus gets on it. And whoever else touches this poster can get the virus. And then they can get sick too. That is completely weird, right? So you always want to be cautious of where you put your hands and where you sneeze or cough. So you always cough or sneeze in your elbow. <coughs> Next is always wash your hands. Let's go to my bathroom so I can show you how to wash your hands. We are here in my bathroom and, to, and right now I'm going to show you how to wash your hands. First what you do is turn on the water and scrub your hands good. This will get off the virus obviously but it makes it ready for the soap. It gets off some of the virus and the soap can take the rest. You could use bar soap or liquid soap. I'm going to use both liquid in one hand bar in the other. I'm going to rub them together. Rub really well. Get in between your fingers and under your nails. Rub really well. Then scrub it all out. Even behind your hands. All over. So that way all the virus gets out of your hands. So when you touch something, you are safe. And you won't get other people sick. That's good, right? Scrub in between the fingernails. Make sure when you wash your hands after you put soap, you should wash them for 20 seconds. It's like singing happy birthday two times. Let's practice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you someone. Happy birthday to you. And now you're done. I've scrubbed all around my hand, as you can see, so it's all wet. And now, you could dry with the tissue paper, but if you don't have a tissue paper, you could dry it also with a towel. Just when you dry with a towel, make sure that you wash the towel frequently, so that way it doesn't get like a lot of germs in it, okay? What else to protect yourself is stay home. If you go out of your home, you're very likely to catch the virus. So stay home inside your house so that way you can be safe. And always disinfect your house with disinfecting wipes. Like I use Clorox wipes. You could use another brand as long as it's disinfecting wipes. And another way, and you should always be calm and sane. So you could play family games, have a nice family movie night, or like entertain yourself in some way. So that way you can be calm and sane. And you don't have to worry about that coronavirus. So now we've taught you all about coronavirus and how to be safe and sane from coronavirus. So I hope you learned a lot today and please stay safe from coronavirus. I do not want you getting sick. Bye! Watch more Mommy Daughter Science Time videos and make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when we make more video new videos. And you can be the first to watch them. That's cool, isn't it? Peace out.